and what's going on Fontaine here VIP soundlab.com just had a tutorial video request from a VIP member and I'm gonna go ahead and help you out with that basically they were wanting to know how to get the uh, multi-track MIDI recording set up inside Persona Studio 1 V2 I did a video on Ableton Live and um, it does work a little bit different in some DAWs being that we don't have the sounds to MIDI note feature anymore which is a good thing uh, because they have the new host support feature now so for example, remember in 1.8, you used to have to set up an instrument track as it's showing here, and you would normally point the MIDI to and from machine. It works a little bit different now, okay? We don't have the sounds to MIDI note feature anymore. So what'll happen is if you do it like this and point, I'm not gonna do it on here, so it'll make like an incredibly uh, awful noise. Uh, you're confusing machine if you point the, the MIDI to and from machine while it's a VST and Cypressonus and you start setting setting up your channels here you might find a workaround as far as when you get to like channel 2 and 3 and all of that but I wouldn't suggest it because it, it would probably you just have problems in the long run basically what happens is now you don't need to even do that For example, the only thing you have to do now is just go to track. You would go to add an instrument track, just as you normally would. But in this first box where it says machine two, don't check that. Leave that one completely blank, okay? Down here is where you would have your machine two. Because we wanna get, or rather we wanna trigger the MIDI from machine, okay? And I'll show you how this works. And right here you see this says channel one, and that's it. In a nutshell, plain and simple. It's gonna work a little bit different because, okay, normally this little icon here, you would click on it, as I'm doing here, and you see how it's not doing anything? It would normally bring machine up. Uh, it doesn't work like that when you set it up like this. You have to go down here to where it says machine here, or one of these little channels here. You know, you would just click on this. And as you can see, it brings up machine like that. And right here, you have an icon here. I have my machine control on. Why? Because I'm using my machine uh, studio controller to control uh, different instruments and plugins and things like that inside of Persona. So I'm not going to get into that. I don't want to get too extremely in depth and confuse somebody because, you know, I just want to get the basics down. So as you can see right here, I have some sound set up inside of uh, machine. You know, I have uh, 16 sounds, 16 drum sounds here from one of my uh, drum kits. And you can jump over here to the mixer and let me explain how this works. Let me uh, roll this back. Okay, let's go to uh, sound one for example. Now you see right here on sound one, I have it set to external one. You have 16 outputs. So each external output is gonna correspond with each sound. EXT one meaning sound one, EX two meaning sound two, EXT3 meaning sound three, and so on and so on. So to get the MIDI to be pointed correctly, oops, I went to group B for a minute there, you have a host feature down here. Okay, normally, I believe this would be set to uh, none, like that. It would be like that. It'd be like a, a little gray box or whatever, and I believe this would be normally set to uh, group or something like that. You wanna change this one from group to EXT1 all your following channels correspond in a chronological order. That makes sense. Over here, you wanna to go to host and you wanna choose host one. Again, you just follow down the line. Host one, two, three, four. Basically, it's saying uh, to your uh, DAW, uh, these MIDI notes are gonna be getting triggered. So in other words, machine is gonna be a, a sound module in a, in, a, in a sense, if that makes sense to you. Okay, so for example, if I was to arm, let me just go ahead and uh, close machine down here for a sec. And let's just go ahead and arm these tracks right quick. Just gonna walk down these uh, tracks right quick. And I'm gonna shrink this down for a sec. And again, you have an icon here where you get a better view on your tracks that you can see right here. This icon here is to zoom in and zoom out of your tracks. So I'll just put it like this. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and just shrink it down all the way so I can show you all the channels a lot better. All right, let's put it like that. Now, what happens is now that all the MIDI's pointed correctly, 
I could just sit here and tap on my uh, machine controller. You know, not trying to make a beat or anything, just showing you how those channels get set up. And as you can see right here, the mixer down here, as you can see, all the channels are all lining up correctly so that's pretty much how that works uh, in a nutshell um, if you have any questions or concerns just hit me up it's your boy Fontaine VIP soundlab.com don't forget we have a VIP membership that's $9.99 with no monthly fees we give out free controller editor templates we give out free session files free monthly drum kits you know free uh, machine 2.0 tutorials and things of that nature so um what I'm gonna do for you fam also for the rest of the VIP fam, uh, being that I have this set up in a manner that I believe would more or less be a great tool and a great resource to help you uh, learn exactly how to do this and you can rip it apart and see how it works. We're gonna make it this into a template. I'm gonna take the uh, Persona Studio One file. I'm going to wrap that up. I'm gonna zip it up, make it into a template with the machine, plug it inside of it. And I'm also gonna take the group files from machine and make a template for you so then that way um yeah i'll go ahead and do that i was just thinking about uh yeah the sounds are in there um all right those sounds are from the fat stacks digital uh analog drum kit so i'll tell you what let's just go ahead and consider that a demo that's my gift from me to you i'm going to leave all those sounds in there on that group file machine we'll put that in there yeah why not we'll, we'll go ahead we'll do that you know, that's my gift for me to you. You know, demo the kit. If you like the kit, come over to the website and get the kit. Then that way, you know, you guys can get in here, you can open it up, and boom, you should get this down in ABC123. So, you know, again, I hope I'm not leaving anything out because I believe that was pretty um, straightforward and to the point. Um, if you need me to review anything, I can review that again. Again, we have the mixer screen here. So let's review this right quick so no one gets confused. Again, on your mixer screen, here's your outputs and your MIDI outputs. So again, EXT 1 through 16, which basically is going to correspond with the sounds that are on your MIDI channels. And you have your host icon here where you can set up, again, 1 through 16 to correspond with your DAW. In this particular situation anyway, you know, you know. On some DAWs, it might work a little bit different, but from DAW to DAW, we'll go ahead and I'll, I'll do a tutorial for each DAW. Um, I think somebody asked me about uh, FL11 also, which is another great DAW, and that one's easy easy to uh, set up also. I'll do that one too, and I'll do a, um, a template one for the FL11 too. Uh, just give me a minute to do that, because you know I, I work a lot, so I get a lot of busy at times, so I can't really upload as many videos as I would like to upload. But, you know, just keep it locked and stay tuned, and I'll go ahead and I'll bless you guys with that. That's that's absolutely no problem. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. In a nutshell, that's how you get your um, your MIDI tracked out for a multi-track MIDI recording session inside Persona Studio One. Because what happens is when you're done with that, you know, you just come down here and you press record and play. And your MIDI notes should show up, so then that way you can edit them. So, check it out. And I'm not going to try to play a beat. I'm just going to just go through the sound so you see them line up you know like this here all right and as you can see right there let's get a better view on that you see the MIDI notes they get mapped out each one is on its individual lane one two three four you know so now when you double click on this when you bring up your editor you know you can go in here and do your editing for each note individually as you can see here let me just uh, go through some of them right quick. As you can see there.
each track is completely separated on its own channel. Now these are drum sounds, of course. I mean, if you have instruments or whatever the case may be, you can do that. And that's pretty much how that works. Just going through them, and you can get down here. You know, you have your your slicer tool. You can get in here and you know edit your notes. You know, if you wanna, or if you're the type of person who likes to program, you can come in here and just you know start dropping your sounds in like this here doing whatever you need to do as far as uh, programming from here you can do it from this way also because what you program in here is going to be triggered uh, inside of machine alright so that is pretty much it your boy Fontaine VIP and I will see you guys on the next one peace need weapons for your lab get industry standard professional drum libraries free machine tutorials machine expansions and more and more Keep it locked to www.vipsoundlab.com.